Hey there, it's time for an update on Incendi at BI. This will be a roundup of the news and updates on the Incendi at BI and news from the Alliance that share this platform. The Future of Management Education Alliance. The group is uh, put together of leading international business schools that share its BI's vision that online learning should be have the same transformational impact as the very fa best face-to-face -face courses. Incendi is the platform used on select executive courses. Last year we saw the addition of uh, short learning modules that contribute to an increase of users. With more than 3,000 participants, short learning modules uh, have created a considerable increase in the uses on the platform. In this February edition, we're going to cover the uh, recent platform updates and have a look at what courses are running and what's coming up. Platform updates. The quick answer check is a core problem type that can be added to any course. At a minimum, text inputs include a question or a prompt and a response field for free form answer text. By adding a check answer, feedback or both, you can provide learners with the guidance and help they need when they work on a problem. The new update allows you to input multiple variants of a valid answer. This means you can design questions that can uh, answer closer to normal semantics. This could be like, yes, of course so, absolutely. And all these could be valid answers. Read all about it in the Incendi platform updates. We've also seen the introduction of Eduflow as, you, uh, as a hand-in and peer evaluation tool. In the course, Digitalization, uh, Innovation and Business Models, led by a professor at Department of Communication and Culture, Peter Inge Fuschett, is organized through a set of reading groups. The groups write up reflection memos and uh, summaries of articles and post these to other groups as a way of co-creating knowledge. After redesigning the submission process on Incendi, a dedicated submission area in Eduflow was created per inside a screen. Since the student is already logged on through Incendi, the student will be provisioned in Eduflow automatically as they click the course. In this way, managing identities is a walk in the park. The students can self-organize into groups and submit on behalf of their groups. Latecomers can even join their respective groups after submissions have started. We see Eduflow as the perfect partner to Incendi and we'll dive into this in future updates. Also, we'd like to mention that uh, updated documentation for the APIs were released earlier this year on Incendi. APIs are application programming interface and a method to allow two applications to talk to one another. This is important to extend the learning experience beyond the Incendi platform while still taking an Incendi course. One more thing. The Incendi team has released a new format for the forum system. All interactions with the forum system, creating new topic, threads or interacting with existing ones will only happen from the forum tab or the view. The new forum means that an enhanced user experience for both student and faculty staff. The new forum is moved from an activity to a tab, meaning one single forum will cover your whole course. One can still choose to keep the legacy-based forum as activities by adjusting the course settings. The forum is organized into topics, first level. Each topic can contain multiple threads. So each uh, thread that will be second level uh, have multiple responses on can, each response can have a further response. We'll dive deeper into the new forum uh, and how it, to use it in our next video. Course updates. Let's have a look at the course updates on Incendi. January marked the start of a new semester. In addition to a range of short learning programs, we also see the start of courses that have run on Incendi several times. We'll have a look at some of these now. 
The 7.5 EZTS course, the digital change agent, is running for its fifth time. The course, led by Ragnvald Sannes, is focusing on providing employees and middle managers with relevant knowledge and skills in digitalization. The goal is for them to become drivers and change agents for digitalization in their own organization. There is a group of uh, short learning modules that is well underway now. Short learning modules are fully online ex intensive course experiences, part of a three course series. All teaching is done online and consists of webinars and other digital learning resources, like videos, case and podcasts. This January saw a launch of our first uh, English language SLM course, the series Customer Experience Management. It consists of uh, the course's uh, introduction to uh, customer experience management, led by research professor at Department of Marketing, Anders Gustafsson. The follow-up course, Measuring Customer Experiences and the Digital Customer Experience will be led by Associate Professor at Department of Marketing, Carlos Velasco. We have seen the launch of three new courses by Senior Lecturer, Department of Marketing, Auditing and Business Analytic, Espen Skaldehaug, on corporate financial decisions, lean management and circular economy. There are also several courses that are running on their second and even third iteration, including Grön Markedsføring og Kommunikation, Digital Kommunikation og Sosiale Nettverk, Digital Forretningsstrategi, Strategiske Valg og Forretningsmodeller, Strategisk Implementering, og projektbegreppet og projektetablering. Vi gleder oss. That's all for today. We'll see you soon.